Hey, Wanna go down there? Yeah. This is where being little helps. All right, Tom, why don't you scoop past me and follow me? Now. Oh. <laughs> Luke, Tom, and Nate here with the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, and today we are exploring and fishing another small little creek. Are you guys excited? Yeah! <laughs> All right. Well, we're fishing with flies today, and poor visibility is the bane of every fly fisherman. You can see the water's a little bit muddy here. Um, I think if we go upstream to where it's a little bit shallower, we'll have an easier time walking around, and We'll get better fishing so we are going to go and start exploring upstream and uh see what we can find check this out guys look at the old bridge abutments there we go some little baby fish starting to see some signs of life. In shallow water, the fish don't like to be out in the open where it's sunny, so under that bridge might be a good spot. Yeah, you know, it is better up here. It has to. Oh yeah, I totally do. Hold on. Starting to move. Got it. Look at That's that. That's so big. Daddy, can we like pieces? Oh, he wants a piece of me so bad. Oh, he's a big boy. Take him. All right. You gonna let him go? Uh-huh. Tom said he saw a few sunfish in this puddle over here, so we're just gonna cast a few times and see if that produces anything. I thought that was pretty cool. Careful the stinging nettle. Swag the dog. It's going underwater. Yep. Here. Here. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on. <laughs> All right. I just found it. Why? I found it. Oh yeah, you kind of. Yeah, I guess. Pole. I guess. Yeah, see, he's got little back legs starting to grow. Oh my! Yeah, check that out. And look, all this crazy full of tadpoles. Wow! I bet I could catch one. Nathan, did you forget something? What? Something, Nathan? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your fishing rod. There you go. Yeah, it's I'm getting deeper, see. and it's going, look at the size of that thing. That is a big dragonfly. It was just getting taller. Yeah, you just got your, your pet dragonfly just chilling with you? Yeah. Let's see over here. It looks like there's another creek. This one might be clearer. I don't know. Are you Wind signs. All right, now we finally found the fish. There we go. You caught me a fish, Dad. Look at that fat yellow-breasted sunfish. Man, she must be full of eggs. Well, they like your they like your aunt though. Can I like it? Here. Go for it. No, no, Tom, go reel it, reel it, reel it. You caught my body! Reel them out, reel them up. Oh, that's a big one. Look, look how fat, how fat they are. These guys must be ready to spawn. Now let's get out of this snag fest and go down there and catch some fish. Yeah, I think those are elderberries. These are the plants that hook on. Okay, so I'm going to tie an improved clinch knot. That's all you do, Nathan. Take your... Okay, oh, thank you. This is a fun little... Oh, there we go. Look at this. New species. There we go. Got a creek chub.
here. I heard that. Yep, there we go. Oh ho! Another little chub or minnow or whatever this thing is. Oh, there we go. Little tiny sunfish. Little yellow belly sunfish are so pretty. All right, guys, there's our third species, green sunfish. There we go. Another spawning yellow belly sunfish. Ooh, there we go. Oh, look at this one. Oh, there we go. There's one. I need to be able to put my rod down occasionally. I'm going to try out a new fishing tool I just bought, see if it helps out. The O-Pro's third hand rod holder. We'll see if this thing works. Oh, that's a nice one. That's I think that's the biggest one of the day, Tom. Oh, it's a pretty green sunfish, buddy. Apparently I clipped this onto my pants or something. Got it clipped onto my shorts here. Then I put my fly rod in there and like that. Yeah. So it holds my rod while I'm busy with the cameras. Oh, these green sunfish have such big mouths. They inhale things. All right, there you go. Good pass, pass, jerk it. Yeah, okay. Is he still on? No, he popped off. Looks like it's adjustable here, so I can kind of keep it out of my way. This would work for spinning reels, too. Here we are, where the self go? There we go. Yeah, there we go. Looks like he got a bluegill. That's the fourth species today. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. I got a big one. Look at that. Look at that fish has teleporting power. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's a nice one, Tom. Stocky. Yeah, these are all getting ready to spawn. I've got a fish. This place is loaded. Oh, man, that's... There you go, bud. See that little dark place? Hey, Oh. Oh, the colors on these fish. Look how beautiful they are. Another beautiful fish. That's a nice one, bud. Whoo! Oh, look at that one. Oh, that is a great one. Oh, you got one? Nice. I tried this right now. There you go. <laughs> nice fish. Let me show you Tommy's rig here. He's got the Doc Demon Deluxe. It's about a $16 rod and reel combo. He's got a weighted bobber, and then he's got a little black gnat that has been chewed up so many times it's barely recognizable. And that is just a really great little rig for sunfish. Nathan has the normal Dock Demon, which is between nine to $15 for the rod and reel combo. You can get these on amazon.com, Walmart, wherever. And he's got a weighted bobber and a little shiny nymph with a little golden bead on the head. Does something with a little bit of bling, works really well. I'm using the Teco three weight fly rod. It's six foot, nine inches long. Just a great little lightweight rod for these types of creeks and for panfish. And I'm using just a red little nymph with the golden bead head. Once again, just something with a little bit of sparkle to it. These little creeks are loads of fun and a great way to hone your fishing techniques. You gotta be stealthy and you gotta learn to read the water and you can watch the fish and see how they behave. And so you learn a lot from doing that. Reading the water on a small creek like this is the same as on big rivers. Look at this right here. Tommy's been having loads of success fishing along this little shelf here. You can see where it drops down from just a few inches to a foot or two and there's a little undercut. This is the exact type of feature we target when fishing big blue catfish on the James River. That's exactly where I would fish for catfish. 
It's just the same thing on a smaller scale. And right here, we've got shallower, faster water that suddenly drops off into a deep pool right in a bend in the river, right? This is classic flathead territory. You'd fish right there for flatheads if this was a slightly bigger river. Same techniques, just smaller scale. There you go. See it? Dom, I just got another one. I got another one, Dommy. Come on, guys. Let's go explore some more. Yeah. Yes. New species. Wow, that we've never. Whoop. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> That was kind of an interesting type of creek chub. I don't know if I've ever caught one of those before. Look at this. Oh, there's another one. I think that's the longest fish of the day. Can I hold him? Sure. Here, you got one? Another big old pregnant sunfish. Oh, I just see a ton of them. Oh. You got one. Tommy, I caught the little minnow. Oh yeah, that looks a little bit like a fall fish. But Daddy caught Oh, do you catch one? Yeah. yeah nice. This, I caught it. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Last cast of the day and Tommy caught a fish. Good job, buddy. Well, this spot really rules. I would kind of want to come back. We've had a good time, but it's now five o'clock and I got to get the kids home in time for dinner. <laughs> This, this really is a great way to beat the summer heat. Well guys, did you have fun? Yeah. <laughs> well, good. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as we did making it. We'd, we've done this a bunch. It's kind of a tradition. Every summer we go and hike these little creeks and go fishing for panfish. And uh, they're just fun videos and fun times. I'll put links in the description to a couple others we did. At any rate, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning.